Hey, what's up? So today I'm going to answer a question, uh, this question that I got posed. I actually got asked this question this week by women and men. Um, and it goes, um, how, how can calisthenics help you to grow muscle and become leaner? Uh, and I got this question and, you know, I had to think about it. And I'm going to say yes. My answer is yes. And the reason I say that is because first thing when somebody wants to become stronger or leaner or more toned, you know, whatever that word means, <laughs> they think, all right, let's go to the gym. They think they got to go lift weights. They gotta, that's, that's not what is the right move for everyone. I think the right move for everyone is moving your body. And so calisthenics is, is the first line of moving your body. So the, one thing that it does is it cuts out that barrier of entry. You don't have to think about going to the gym. You don't have to think about what clothes will I wear. You don't have to think about, hey, is this the right gym for me or blah, blah, blah. It helps you get over that barrier. That's the first hurdle. Then when looking at calisthenic exercise itself, you could do it anywhere. And there's two ways to grow lean muscle mass or to stimulate lean muscle mass growth with calisthenics. The first thing is moving the muscle through a proper range of motion. This is going to, when you do calisthenics, it fatigues the muscles. So you're making these little micro tears in the muscle and the micro tears heal. And then the muscle becomes stronger, right? And that's all, you know, that's how muscle growth happens. That's how becoming stronger happens. That's how muscular endurance is created. And as you do calisthenics, this is what happens. You become better at them, right? A lot better at them. And it costs you way more repetitions to get to that place of muscle fatigue. The funny thing about the human body is that it doesn't give a crap how you get to muscle fatigue. It doesn't care how you make those micro tears. So you can do three reps and get a lot of micro tears. Or you can do a thousand reps and get a lot of micro tears. Your body's just going to heal the same way. It doesn't care. It doesn't care about reps, it doesn't care about sets, it doesn't care about anything. It just says, hey, this is the work you want me to do. What do I have to do to change to make it easier? The human body is lazy as hell, people. Um, so it just makes enough changes for the stimulus. So as you increase the amount of repetitions that you do with calisthenics, you stimulate the muscle growth. And if you're a person that can go to all the way to the point of muscle failure, then what you are going to do is you're going to start to release um, human growth hormone or and um, other hormones that lead to muscle growth. So, long explanation short, through calisthenics you do get that. Oh, also you get the benefit of aerobic capacity increase through calisthenic workouts, through movement. So push-ups, pull-ups, dips, burpees sit-ups, all those things, the better you get at them, the more you have to do, and the longer it's going to take, and the more you'll be moving. And all aerobics is, is moving your body for an extended period of time. Right? So you get aerobic. Um, I've been doing primarily calisthenics for almost two years now. And, you know, I still maintain all my muscles. I actually grew some muscles and um, shrunk some other ones, actually. Because, you know, I don't get to lift the way that um, I would like to lift. But it's great for maintaining and great for growth. And especially for beginners, it's an excellent way to start. This is Andre Farnell. As always, put in the comics your, your experience with calisthenic movements, uh, why you like them, why you don't. I'd just like to hear from you. Subscribe to the channel if you can. And as always, you're greater than any past conditioning. You're greater than any circumstances. And ultimately, you are responsible for sharing the most real and authentic version of yourself with the world. Peace.